Well, hello, Sarah Solorsano here from Axis Church sharing our weekly devotional. I know you're guessing, where is she now? I'm not in my car. I'm not at Bay Area. I'm actually in a laundromat, as you can tell here. And I am drying my clothes. Yeah, I can't tell you how much happened this past week, but our dryer's broken. I'm getting the parts fixed. And just this past week, too, well, we have family members that are in the hospital. Just a lot of hard stuff is happening this week. I was in my car. The alternator died. It almost, the car could have overheated. The engine could have actually cut on fire. And I didn't even know that that could have happened. And then the radio, radiator had to get replaced. And you know what God was reminding me of? Of how good he is. Even, you know, we have so many phrases here in the U.S., probably throughout the whole world that are translated maybe in different ways but we have phrases like when it rains it pours right or when life gives you lemons you make what apple juice no you make lemonade and what does that tell us that tells us that we need to have a good perspective on what's going on we need to have God's perspective right the way he's looking at things and he reminded me the next day after this happened with my car and praise the Lord when this happened with my car I could just see his hand in the whole thing. A good friend of mine was with me. We were driving down the highway and all of a sudden the car just started feeling, I started feeling resistance and all the lights started flickering like the battery was going to die. And so I pulled over, I turned off the car and then the car, the battery was dead, the car wouldn't turn on and it smelled kind of bad. And would you know that there was an advanced auto parts within walking distance. That's how much God cares for us. Yes, these crazy things happen but he's protecting us all along the way. And so somebody from Advanced Auto Parts came, they jump started the car, and then he said, there's a Mr. Tire right around the corner. I think you have enough juice to get to Mr. Tire. I got to Mr. Tire, they explained to me what was going on with the car, they explained to me what could have actually happened to us. And I was just thinking, wow, God, thank you so much for protecting us. And the next day, as I was reflecting on this, I was in his word, and I was reading Ephesians 5, 15, and I think it's 15 and 16, but basically it says to make the most of every opportunity because these days are evil and to find out what the Lord's will is. Well, what is his will, right? To find out what his will is. And then Paul goes into talking about how we, we can be filled in the spirit. And so I was thinking, well, what's his will in this? When bad things happen, when life just seems like everything is just falling on your shoulders, when it rains, it pours, What's his perspective? What's his will? And he tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, he says to rejoice always, to pray continually, and to give thanks, for this is the will of God and our Lord Jesus. And so I was thinking, wow, that's what I, that's, that's how I can have his perspective. That's how I can make the most of every opportunity. It's to rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks. And I'll tell you, that next day, even after the whole thing happened with the car we were actually still giving thanks when we when we set out on this road trip my friend and I we prayed for protection he answered he gave us protection even though the, the hard thing happened with the car he still protected us and so I hope this is an encouragement I don't know what you're going through maybe everything's fine or you're doing great and maybe you'll come across some things that are hard in life some lemons in life and just have this as an encouragement He's always protecting us that even in those hard times we can rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks because that's as well. So I'm going to be here for a little bit waiting for my clothes, but I hope that was an encouragement as much as it encouraged me this week.